the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from the tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open. And you will be like that, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree. And I... Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The woman deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this curse for you upon all livestock and all wild animals, you will crawl in your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With pain, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you listened to your wife, and the ape of the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve, because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife, and clothed them. And the Lord God said, mm -hmm. The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove them out, he placed on the east side of the garden of Eden a cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us, those of who profess themselves to be Christians, is to let's read the entire Bible. One 
chapter at a time for New Testament. One chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at uh, nighttime, use the Old Testament. And incorporate that as part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm going to do is by being an example, is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do um, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's, let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is like I said, I think I love it because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I said, here's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time with Your Morning Evening Prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words, especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called, how much, it was called Life Wave Research Did It, How Much of Bible Have You Personally Read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences. 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to get it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you you will grow in the things of god and then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something and then when you go to church sir when the man said let's turn to such and such chapter you can sit and say i did that <laughs> i read that chapter and, and then you can get some more comments on that so that you start understanding what the man is trying to teach but you keep it in content of those scriptures as they come in amen hey I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right. So get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, we've been able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it. So you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. Because what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Look at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter. You don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this matter, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, it's what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, meaning the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily, as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the word of God. We ain't talking about local bread, we're talking about the word of God. And forgive us our debts, and we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for every man. For if you give men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ's intent. It is important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you give men not their trespasses, neither will your Father give your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who would have all men to be saved and come to, uh, to the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. it, it there's no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, and so then every one of us shall begin to count himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, you pastor and tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen? So that's what we do that. So 
But the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, I do recommend pray daily too, just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily and pray his will, pray his word. That's what it is. Therefore, when you ask for things, you should line them with his word. Amen. And he wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen. All right. God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.